Hello everyone, good day, it's Mary Rose Oria here and for today's video we will be slaughtering a chicken and as you can see we already have here the chicken and this was purchased by me making sure that it is not ill and have no health problems so here we do not directly slaughter the chicken or the poultry right after it is being purchased instead it must undergo fasting here's what i prepared where the chicken will be placed for the fasting process that is between 6 a.m to 4 p.m nine hours after fasting the poultry i performed the anti-mortem inspection and what i did here was i checked the animal's prt and i also checked if there are any unusual color in the body of the poultry particularly its head as you can see, I used the thermometer to check the temperature of the chicken. So I gently insert the thermometer into the cloaca and the chicken's temperature is relatively high compared to humans and should be between 40.6 degrees Celsius and 41.7 degrees Celsius. So here it is 41.4 degrees Celsius and it is still normal. So this chicken is fit for slaughtering. After performing the anti-mortem inspection, I weighed or I get the life weight of the poultry that will be used in determining the dressing percentage after slaughter. So what I used was the packet scale and a plastic cellophane. This plastic cellophane here was used where the chicken to slaughter or to weigh rather was placed. Next, I prepared a hot water for the scalding procedure and that's what we have here. I also made sure that the area for slaughter was clean and the tools to be used are all ready. The knife was already sharpened and the cutting board and plate was already prepared. After the preparation of the tools and the slaughter area, I hung the chicken upside down, allowing the nerves to relax. Then to bleeding or sticking. Here, I have asked my brother to hold the chicken upside down since I cannot do that while I am cutting the neck. After cutting the neck, I hold the head to allow the blood to flow freely and also I waited for several minutes allowing the blood to flow freely making sure that it all get drained. I also asked my brother to hold the chicken gently enough to avoid dislocating the wing joints but firmly enough to prevent blood splatter. After several minutes of waiting, I could tell that the blood were already out and we are ready for the scalding procedure. What I did here was I hold the chicken by the feet and move it in a back and forth and up and down motion in the skull tongue. And our skull tongue here is this big stainless steel casserole. Proper scalding relaxes the muscles holding the feathers. However, it is difficult for the warm water to penetrate the natural oily defenses of the chicken. So repeated dips into the skull tongue during picking may be necessary to remove difficult feathers. As you observed, I removed the head first before finishing the defeathering process. So I did this because I think this is convenient for me to do the defeathering process. After that, I continued defeathering the dead chicken. After the carcass has been fully picked, I inspected it to ensure that all feathers have been removed. However, I have seen that there are still tiny feathers that are left. So I decided to perform singeing process where I have to place the carcass above the flames or fire. 
After that, I cut the neck by cutting the meat around the neck near the shoulder or the carcass. Then twisted it away from the carcass to avoid cutting the neck bone. At the same time, the esophagus and the windpipe were also removed. Then the shanks or feet of the carcass were removed by cutting the front of the ankle. Next to that was the body cavity of the chicken were opened by making a small horizontal cut between the tail and the vent. Only the skin were cut to avoid cutting the vent. After that, I entered my hand to the body cavity to remove the viscera and tried to insert my hand far forward as possible trying to break the attachment of the organs from the body wall before pulling them out. Also, I tried to get my hands in front of the heart so that when I remove the viscera, I am bringing essentially all organs out at one pull. Then I removed the oil gland found at the base of the tail making sure that there will be no part of it left. Moving on to the final part where the cleaning of the viscera is done. First, I have removed the green gall bladder, making sure not to rupture it to avoid the liquid inside from contaminating the liver and it might taste bitter if it will get contaminated. Now is the harvesting of the gizzard. It was opened and cleaned, so the lining of the gizzard, the yellow one, the rough textured tough inner membrane that protects the gizzard muscles during digestion was removed. After it was cleaned, the carcass was also cleaned, was washed rather, with the water from the faucet. <laughs> After that, the carcass was weighed, excluding the giblets, the liver, and the gizzard. As can be seen here, the computation for the percent dressing. So the formula is percent dressing equals hot carcass weight divided by the live weight and multiply to 100 so here the hot carcass weight is 1100 grams while the live weight is 1500 and to compute 1100 divided by 1500 that is 0 0.7333 and then multiply to 100 the percent dressing is 73.3 percent so that's it guys thank you for watching and have a good day goodbye